In this video, I'm going to go over how to perform the SARS antigen test using the SOFIA-2. Now, this is a qualitative detection of SARS rather than a PCR detection like the uh, various other analyzers I've gone over so far. Okay, um, so for this, you're going to need a few things um, to run the test. You're going to need a test cassette. You're also going to need some reagent solution. I'm using a positive control of my patient, and you're going to need a reagent tube. You also need a pipette, which I forgot to show you here, but I'll get to that in a minute. So first thing you need to do is open the reagent tube, and then you're going to add the reagent solution to it. Um, now, typically, if you're doing a patient, you could use a nasal swab or a nasal pharyngeal swab, but like I said, I'm using a positive control. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place that in the reagent tube and mix it in the solution for 60 seconds. I don't think I did quite 60 seconds here for this demonstration, but you're shooting for 60 seconds. Uh, when you're removing the, uh, the swab, just try and wring it out as much as you can along the sides so you can retain as much of the solution as possible. From here, now I have the pipette. You're going to use the pipette, which is designed to only aliquot a specific amount um, and it actually has a little overflow bulb on it so that if you uh, pull up too much of the reagent solution it will ensure that you still get the proper volume so just open up your cassette and then go ahead and um, aliquot some of the solution and dispense it onto the well of your cassette and then you're going to let this incubate at room temperature for 15 minutes. And then you're just going to set it and forget it. And then after those 15 minutes, like I said, I'm going to run this as a patient, not a QC. So you want to enter in your user ID. And then I'm just going to make up a patient ID and a patient order number. Once you have those in, press start test. And the little drawer there will pop out. And then you can go ahead and, and enter or, um, place the test cassette in. And this takes about a minute to run. So it's just loading there. And as you see, I think it says 48 seconds, but it takes about a minute, typically. And then once it's done, you'll see the results displayed. And you will also get a printout. And you can see that my positive control was, in fact, positive. And then all you really need to do is just remove the used cassette, chuck it out, and then you can close your little drawer and you have a printout. And that is really all there is to it. Thank you for watching.